A good security policy, first and foremost, starts at the top. Upper management must initiate and support every step of the way. The security policy represents the management's position on security, which in turn represents the entire organization's policy on security. You'll find when we look at legal and regulatory issues that the security policy dictates what the organization's strategy and attitude is on security in general and specific security issues in particular. So it's the first line of defense toward avoiding liability or falling into unknown liability toward security events. Basically, a security policy will include statements of expected performance and the consequences of noncompliance. This is upper management's opportunity to say, here is where our organization falls on security. Here's where we stand. And if our organization, our employees, and the people with whom we do business do not follow these particular policies, these are the consequences. Keep in mind a security policy is strategic in nature. It's long-term, very high level. It doesn't contain a lot of details. It contains a lot of policy statements which show direction and support for security.